Hypixel, home to many different game modes, but one I find very near and dear to my heart, Skyblock. There are so many interesting characters to meet here, so many smart people. Here's a little rundown of Skyblock. So pretty much you spawn into your own personal island, punch this tree, and you're going to bridge over this vast void. Very scary. Once you talk to Jerry, who's your own personal assistant, you can enter the hub where you can meet all of those people I was just talking about. Can someone help me, please? Can someone give me money at map, please? <laughs> Alright, maybe smart wasn't the right word to use for them. But, I don't know what their problem is. Making money isn't that hard. Hey, a uh, quick little tidbit, uh, all this stuff was streamed live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash gholmesy, you should really go check it out. Uh, anyways, back to the, yeah. I don't usually like to repeat myself, but I just made a new profile and I made my way to the hub. Also, uh, future me editing, uh, I decided to stream with some copyright music, so that's a no-go, so... There's probably not going to be much game audio. I'll fix it next time. Once I made it to the village, I did what any normal person would do and... Slaved my life away in the coal mine. On a serious note, the best thing that you can do on any new profile, unless it's an Iron Man account, is open up the bazaar. So the fastest ways I found out to do this are to farm wheat in the hub, mine sand on the mushroom desert, and just to farm logs. Like, it doesn't take that long. After unlocking Bazaar, I instantly sell all the stuff I have, or at least put it up for a sell offer. Another quick awesome tip, if you buy it and sell ice and packed ice from the builder to the Bazaar, you make like at least two coins, which is pretty nifty. After selling everything I had and flipping a couple of other random items, I got up to 48,000 coins. Now a really good way to make money early game is bizarre flipping, so I decided I'd flip some tarantula webs. And the flipping for people I don't know is buying stuff for a buy order and selling for a sell order to make a small profit. Fast forward about two hours and I made it up to about a quarter mil, which is pretty good except for the fact that it took two hours. The best part about Bazaar Flipping though is that I can do other stuff while I'm making money. So for instance, I got Fairy Souls which give me a really good stat boost to help me later in the game. And it made me hate myself. Now I had done like a lot of boring grind, I had gotten some talismans and I was still like only at about 300k. But then I remembered something. I had a free booster cookie to claim. And if you don't know what a booster cookie does, it gives me bits that I can spend on the bits store. It's really good. But since it was free, some of you might think I'm cheating. And look, believe what you want to believe, but if I had just kept on flipping, I would have eventually gotten a cookie. So this kind of just sped up the process. And I could have done it in one day, I just wanted to sleep. Insert day two. I'd AFK'd a little bit the night before. And I'm still under 24 hours, so this is still in one day. With my newfound bits, I bought myself a god potion. And the good part about god potions is they give you every single positive potion effect that you can think of. With the power of the god potion now streaming through my blood, I was ready to start grinding combat. And I thought the easiest way to do this would be the crypt, which I think I was right. I mean, it was fast enough. A few minutes later. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Combat 12, man. Uh. Now I know what you might be thinking. Well, you're not strong enough to kill the Thranderin yet. Why, why are you going to go there? And to that I say, shut up. I have a plan. But to go through with my plan, I needed more bits to make a little bit more money. So I decided to do more fairy souls. Once I had enough bits, I instantly bought myself a god potion and sold it right away to the auction house for market value, which around this time it was 680,000 coins. Money, money, money. Anywho, I ended up getting a fell sword with this newfound money, and I luckily got one that was already pretty well enchanted for really cheap. 
alongside this new fell sword, I'm going to need some better armor. So I decided I'd go with ender armor because I'm going to be using it in the end. Why not? After reforging all this armor, I had to test my damage. So that was easier than I thought it would be. So I guess we're just going to start farming zealots then. Let me explain zealots. So pretty much this is a zealot. It's just an enderman. And if you kill it, there's a one out of 420 chance that this zealot right here will spawn a special zealot. For the sake of simplicity, they have pink eyes. Now, if you get a special zealot and kill it, you will get a summoning eye, which is worth cash monies. 2,000 years later. Finally, dude. That eye alone took over twice as many zealots as it should have. About 840? Yeah. I, I was pretty excited to get it, but it doesn't show. I instantly invested the money I just got into a new set of armor being young dragon armor. Which makes me go really fast, which is going to make the whole process go by quicker. With my brand new set of armor that let me travel at speeds faster than many people have ever gone in their lives, I was ready to sit down and finally grind out the rest of these eyes that I needed. Hey, so if you guys are hearing this right now, that means you're pretty close to the end of the video, and I just want to say thank you for making it this far. As you're watching me grind zealots, which I know isn't the most entertaining thing, it really means a lot that you guys stuck around for this long. Just another reminder, I stream all this live on my Twitch. There's a link to that in the description. Uh, yeah, I honestly didn't think I'd be able to finish this challenge, but I put my mind to it and I got it done. So thank you all. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So, just like that, within 20 hours, 21 hours of this profile being created, I've earned over 10 million coins. I have 8 million in my purse. This fell sword right here costs about 800k. 850k, that is. So, I put 9.6k. Sorry, not. 9.4k up here. And this young dragon armor is definitely worth more than 600,000. Uh uh uh. You said you'd earn 10 mil and you don't have 10 mil in your purse. Therefore, challenge failed. <sighs> Do you really want me to get another eye? You know, fine. Boom. There. There's your eye. Oh, yay. Mission complete. I still got it in under 24 hours. I don't know why you guys are all so. You have got to be. The cobblestone minion just made me ten million dollars. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. There it is, 10 mil on a 20 hour old account. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. It really means a lot to me. Uh, that whole entire video was about nine hours worth of a stream. So I put a lot of time into this. So if you wanna watch more of my content, be sure to follow my Twitch, subscribe here, and maybe even just leave a like on the video. Tell your friends about it. Uh, but as we're wrapping up, I got one final message to tell you. And that's to stay cozy. Have a good one.